Hi, welcome to another session of Indie uh, Training. Uh, and my name is Quan Hong. I'm the uh, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer uh, supporting the Indie product line. Now, today um, we'll talk about how we can use Indie Tool to switch the host interface from a USB to a UART interface. So let's let's start here. Now I've loaded Indie Tool um, and following the direction from the other video where I show you how to connect up the um, the Hidden Glen or the Indie R2000 development uh, kit um, to your PC. But now that you've done that, let's go ahead and hit enumerate to find the radio. And there it shows that uh, reader and pin serial number 01 has been located. We'll go ahead and connect to it. And there you go. When you connect to it, it'll display a bunch of useful information for you to follow. It tells you what firmware running, what build, target, and etc. So go ahead and go to the macro tab. Um, the other thing to remember, notice here is the host to Mac interface is USB. It, it's displayed so right here to let you know. So that's, keep that in mind for now. Let's get back to the macro tab. Um, from the drop down menu, go ahead and select interface to UART. Um, the important thing here at this point is to make sure that you have the uh, RS-232 cable that came with the dev kit. Uh, you have it connected to your console port and also to your PC. And if you don't have one on your uh, PC or laptop, you can use one of those uh, USB to serial converter and it works just as fine. Go ahead and click Execute. What that does is it'll set it to the York interface and uh, reboot the reader board. Now, it c as it comes back online, you've noticed that the serial number kind of changed. Um, it's still in pin serial number 02, but there's capital letters in it. And um, if if you don't have a COM port on one on your computer, uh, it may pick up some other COM port. You may want to choose those COM ports and reboot any tool and start up again. But from here, I can just click enumerate. Since mine does have a COM1, it uh, naturally tried to find the reader in COM1 and it found it. I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. And down here it shows that it's able to connect to it. And the interface we are talking over today is COM1, which is the UART interface, and we're good to go. Now, if you want to um, bring it back to the USB interface, same thing, go to the Macros tab, switch the interface to the USB, execute, wait for it to reboot, and it should be good to go. There you go. That's it.